In this video, we're going to find a vector that has the same direction as the vector 6, 2, negative 3, but has length 4. Let's go ahead and carefully work through its solution. So to solve this problem, we're going to start by turning this vector here into what's called a unit vector. We're going to make it a vector whose length is 1. And then we're just going to multiply by 4 and we'll be done. The process of taking a vector and turning it into a unit vector is called normalizing the vector. The first step is to find the magnitude of this vector. So the magnitude, I'll use a single bar, of the vector whose components are 6, 2, and negative 3 is given by the following formula. By the way, you can use a single bar or you can use a double bar. This is equal to the square root of. And then you just square each component and you add them up. So it'll be 6 squared plus 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. This is equal to square root of 6 squared is 36. 2 squared is 4. And negative 3 squared is 9. Oh, this is cool. This is nice. This is equal to square root of. How nice. <laughs> things, things worked out quite nice. 36 plus 4 is 40. 40 plus 9 is 49. And so that's equal to 7. So our magnitude is 7. That's the length of this vector. So to turn it into a vector that has length 1, we just divide it by 7 or multiply by 1 seventh. So, so now... Our unit vector, so this is a vector of length 1 that I'm going to write, is, and you just take your vector and divide each of the components by 7. So it will be 6 over 7, comma, and then 2 over 7, comma, and then negative 3 over 7. So this vector is a unit vector in the same direction as our original vector. In other words, it's a vector of length one. So unit vector is a vector whose length is one. This process that we just performed uh, is called normalizing the vector. It's very important. And unit vectors matter in mathematics because there's a lot of formulas involving magnitudes. And if magnitude is one, life is easier. So unit vectors are good. We don't want a unit vector. We want a vector that has length four. So what we're going to do now is basically multiply this entire vector by 4. The answer is actually just 4 times this vector here. So 6 over 7, 2 over 7, negative 3 over 7. And we should distribute the 4. So this is equal to 4 times 6 is 24. We have 24 over 7. And 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 over 7. And 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, so we have negative 12 over 7. And this vector here should be a vector whose magnitude, whose length is 4. We could check by computing the magnitude of this vector. You could also check by making sure that this is a unit vector. You can compute the magnitude of this, and you should get 1. But everything should be okay, so I will stop here. Hopefully this video has been helpful, and this is the answer, because I have two things circled. I don't want any confusion, so this is our answer. Good luck.